Hey y'all, welcome back. Happy New Year. Today we're going to be making the housewife of the South, y'all. Yes, right. It's some good old Southern style sweet tea. Yes, honey. Won't he do it? I know he will. Huh? Let's get to this tutorial. All right. So first we're going to start out with making our simple syrup. This is a very important step that you need to do in order to make really good smooth sweet tea. Okay. So we're going to be uh, adding our cups of water to a medium sized pot. Make sure you use a medium sized pot. Don't use a small pot. Then it's stuff going to boil over, honey. Then you're going to need some Hennessy instead of a glass of sweet tea because your pressure gonna be up don't be doing that okay so we're gonna add all of our water to the pot then we're gonna add in my secret ingredient and that is what brown sugar yes brown sugar is so good and sweet tea y'all so we're gonna be making a brown sugar simple syrup on today so i pack my brown sugar in my cup just like that whenever you see a recipe that says pack brown sugar that's what they mean they want you to pack it up in the cup honey then pour it in so we're gonna add our brown sugar and then we're gonna add a little bit of white sugar yes you know how we do it on this channel it's a what a biracial beverage on today. Yes! So we're going to add our brown sugar, our white sugar, and we're going to stir it up just like that to get everything nice and combined. And we're going to bring this to a boil. You want to... um. Make a simple syrup, y'all, before you make any type of sweet tea or anything. Because if you don't, you see those specks of sugar, that's going to be in your tea, okay? And then it's going to come out in your straw. Then folks going to be talking about she gonna be trying to give me the sugar diabetes. Okay, we don't need that, okay? We're trying to live. So you want to boil your uh, simple syrup for about five to six minutes until everything gets nice and dissolved, just like that, okay? It's kind of look like a little bit of... Jack Daniels or something, don't it? Uh-uh, but it's simple syrup today. So we're going to just let that boil, and then we're going to take it off the heat and let it cool down, okay? You want to let this kind of cool down. You don't want to uh, have it too hot, okay? That's not what we want. We want to have it cool down so everything kind of blends together when we start to make the tea, okay? So now we're going to do... Our next step, which is to make the actual tea. Now, I'm going to make a concentrated tea base. So, a lot of times when people are trying to make tea, they make it too light or they make it too dark, honey. Be too strong, like Uncle Joe coffee, honey. We don't need that. We're making good sweet tea, so we want to make a concentrated base. So, I'm adding my cups of water to the pot here. And then what I'm going to do... Uh, after I add all of my water to that, I'm going to put a lid on top of the pot. That's just going to allow the water to just boil faster, y'all. If you're ever trying to just get um, your water to boil fast, I just put a lid on top of that, okay? And as you can see, in about two minutes, it started to boil. So once the water starts to boil, you want to take it off the heat or turn the heat off. And then I just got my tea bags here. I'm going to use four uh, tea bags and a little bit of water, yes, because we're going to make a concentrated base. Go with me now. Don't lose me. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. I'm using some great value tea, baby, because ain't nobody got time, okay? Tea is tea, okay? You can use expensive tea. You can use great value kind, whatever it is. As long as the technique is good, it's going to taste amazing, okay? So what we're going to do now is I tied all of my tea bags together, and I'm just going to put them down in my pot. As you can see, the water is not boiling anymore. I just wanted it to boil so it can get really, really hot, and then I'm going to put the tea in there just like that right there. Once you kind of lay them in there, like baby Jesus in the main, just lay it on in there, okay? We're going to add a lid to the pot and we're going to allow the tea to steep. This is going to make our concentrated base for the tea. Okay, so you're just going to let it steep for about seven to eight minutes. This is where people kind of go wrong. They let it steep too long and it's way too strong and bitter or they don't let it steep enough and it, it, don't, it don't be good. Okay, so you want it to steep for about seven to eight minutes. Put the lid on and just let it steep away. Don't bother. It's going to be fine. Once it starts to look like this, you're going to just kind of just Remove your tea bags, okay? Stop being nasty out there. We're removing our tea bags. And then we're going to just set them to the side. And that's it, y'all. Now we're going to put the tea together. We're going to let this cool down for a minute because I don't want it to be too hot. Just let it cool down. And then we're going to just make the tea, okay? So now I got my picture here. As you can see, baby, it's nice and clean because you see the specks of water. Baby, I cleaned it, honey. You don't want to be dirty. The folks going to talk about you get somebody sick. Okay, so now we're going to add our tea to the um, pitcher here. And I think this is a one liter pitcher. If you want more, just double the recipe, y'all. It's okay. I'm just going to add Add my tea to that. As you can see, that's all it made was about four cups. And now we're going to add in our simple syrup. Now, you can add a little bit at a time if you want to. I used half because that was sweet enough for me. And then if it's not sweet enough for you, just add more. Baby, if you want your stuff tasting like diamond tap or cough syrup, honey, just add more. Okay? But, honey, we, I don't want mine tasting good and sweet but not too sweet. So I'm going to add my water. And that's what's going to kind of dilute that concentrated tea base that we made. So we got some water, our simple syrup, and our concentrated tea base. And that's it. We just stir it around just like that right there to get everything nice and combined and you want to taste it now at this point if you want to jazz it up you can add some coconut extract or a little bit of vanilla extract and make some vanilla tea that's also delicious yes at that point you can add whatever you wanted to add to make it a flavored tea 
So now I'm just gonna roll my lemon around to get the juices flowing, okay? <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut it up because I like a little bit of lemon in my tea. If you don't like lemon in your tea, you don't have to do that. But now we're gonna add our lemon to our ice. And as you can see, I got a little mason jar, honey, because you know I'm a good old Southern beer. So I'm gonna put my lemon slices down in there, make it look nice and cute. Plus when we pour our warm tea on top of there, it's gonna kind of extract the oils from the lemon. It's gonna make it really, really good. Now you can let this cool completely down if you want to, but if let it, I would say let it cool kind of halfway. You don't want it super, super hot, honey. We ain't having tea and crumpets, okay? We making sweet tea, okay? Now we're gonna add our tea on top of our ice and our lemon, and that is it, y'all. It is done. This is how you make the best sweet tea. I promise you, it's so good. Adding that brown sugar to that, mm. It makes it so smooth. I mean, baby butt smooth. It's so delicious. And you just put your little straw up in there. And if you live in California, you know you got to use them paper straws. <laughs> and that's it. Take you a nice sip. And you can pair this with any other my recipes on YouTube. Make sure you go down there and scroll and get everything sopped up for dinner on tonight. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Later.